welcome to data engineering and today we are going to discuss about internal and external table in hive so uh, this is one of the most frequently asked interview question if you go for any interview people used to ask you this as a default question so that we do have a lot of default questions in interview when you go for big data interview one important question is what is the difference between internal and external table in hive and when we need to use it that's it so now we're going to discuss about that so i have two table syntax here if you see the very first table i have named it as internal table that is just for our understanding purpose only and if you see there is no syntax change it's a normal create table syntax with column location and then storage format that's it and if you see the second syntax this is for external table and the table name is external table again this is for understanding but if you see there is a slight uh, new keyword that i have added after the create statement so create and then external is a keyword and then you have to give table table name so this is what an external table syntax now instead of giving you a theoretical explanation let me first show you the demo and then i will explain you what is the need of these two tables okay fine so let me create this internal table first okay so the internal table is created now after this, let me go to HDFS and show you the table location because Hive uses HDFS as location, right? So all your Hive table by default gets stores under user Hive warehouse. I'm just doing Hadoop FSLS, that's it. Now you will be seeing a directory called internal underscore table. You can able to see, right? So I do have so many tables. I'm just highlighting it. You can able to see, all right, fine. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create external table. Okay, external table is also created. Now again, I'm going to do Hadoop FSLS. So now you can see two directories, internal underscore table and external underscore table in HDFS. Okay, so you can able to see, I'm just highlighting it. Yeah, internal table and external table. So next, what I'm going to do is, I'm going back to Hive. Okay, so what I'm do, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do drop. I'm going to drop. Okay, I'm going to drop the table. Drop table internal underscore table now internal table is dropped so what 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 happens when we do a drop table will be get dropped the data inside the table will be also get dropped now back to hdfs i'm going to do an hadoop fsls for you once again so now you will not see a directory internal underscore table so you will not see that because the table has been dropped yeah there is no such table only you can see external underscore table right now i'm going to drop the external table external underscore table now now you have dropped the external underscore table now what happens so what is the what is the thing with respect to hdfs let me see how do fsls now you will still see the directory external underscore table that is the difference between internal and external table see you still have it so if you create an internal table and you start loading the data and when you drop the internal table the data will be also get dropped from hdfs and then hive table structure will also be get dropped so in my very first high video introduction and architecture of high video you can find the previous video from the description box there is a playlist called big data course in which you can see all the uh, videos of big data in order okay fine so so in in the architecture video or generally where high will store the metadata it will store its metadata as a meta store db in any rdbms right hive stores it metadata in rdbms now when you do a drop table drop internal table what happens hive will delete the structure of table from its metadata and also it will delete all the data from the hdfs nothing everything wash out but what happens when you drop the external table so when you in, in hive when you drop the external table the table will be get dropped uh, the structure will be get dropped but not the data okay so the structure will be get dropped from hive meta store but the data will still there so that is the difference between internal and external table so now i will tell you when to use these internal and external table fine so you all aware that we have the concept of acid in hive right so when it comes to acid table creation so acid table must be an internal table only you cannot make a table as a transactional table or an acid table when the table is external you can't do so an acid table you can do only when the table is internal okay 
if I am not having ACIV table, in that case, when should I have to use internal and external? I will tell you. So I recommend you, if 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 your table is not an ACIV, then then leave it. So if you 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 have to always, I I'll recommend you to use only external table in the real time, even though. It's a normal table or or uh, with respect to ACI table. So ACI table should be in internal only. You cannot use external. But as you as I as I said already, your use case is not ACID, leave it. So I, I recommend you to go for always external table because mistakenly when you drop something in your uh, uh, in your production server, when you have access or even in your dev server, your table is also got dropped, your data is also got dropped. So that is one advantage of having external table. And the second thing is, see, now this is a common HDFS path where we will get the input from the source team. Imagine I'm telling you the use case. Now, this particular data has been referred by Hive, referred by Pig, referred by Spark. Now, if this particular path was coupled with your Hive table as an internal table, what happens when you do a drop? The HDFS data is also gone. So that means the Spark team and Pig team who is using this HDFS data is also gone. Right. So if it is an external table, then this particular path can be used by so much so many other technologies. OK. And one more thing. Now I have dropped the table and still I have the data here. How can I have this data in my hive back? So that means nothing. Just copy this DDL, create in your hive with the same path so that you can still query your data. You can still able to get the data in hive. Because it's from the hive, we don't have the table structure, so we couldn't query the data, but it is still there in HDFS. You recreate the table with the same path, then you can able to query the data. So this is what the use case need and everything. So when if we go for an interview, please explain all these things to your interviewer and also tell them the use case. And I recommend external table. If it is as it, no other go, it should be an internal table. So when you when you do drop for internal tables, please be very careful. Thanks for watching and if you really like this video, please do subscribe to my channel and forward this to your friends and colleagues. So we do a lot of tech videos in English and Tamil in two languages and we do have a lot of big data videos. As I told you in the description box, I have given the playlist called Big Data Course where you can find all the videos from the lesson one to lesson last and I will be keep on adding the videos to that playlist. Stay touch with us. Thanks for watching and please do share this in your LinkedIn. Thank you.